Here I have a wonderfully colourful book, Passport to Painting, How to Paint Retro Style Travel Poster Art by Susie West. Now I think this is a fantastic idea. These paintings are simple enough for anyone without any prior knowledge to actually have a go at. Everything you need is in this book and what a wonderful memory of your holidays. So we're going to have a look inside. We can just make sure we can see all of the pages. So we have a little bit about Susie and you can see straight away how wonderfully colourful this book is. Now we have six projects. We have Mount Rainier National Park, Tower Bridge London, Golden Gate Bridge, Amsterdam Canals, Lisbon Portugal and the Sydney Opera House. On the contents we have introduction, before you set out, planning the trip, designing your own travel poster, getting started, adding lettering. We've got the six projects, onward travel, afterward, lettering templates and index. Now we have the introduction here by Susie and she talks about the six new travel posters that she's designed for this book. And she's going to tell you about her own journey here. So this lady is wonderfully creative and she's painting her way around the UK and the world. We have a lovely history of travel posters. I really love travel posters. The retro posters are so beautiful and really collectible. We have a travel poster timeline here. And we move on to the things you need before you set out. So you've got your brushes your acrylic paints, painting surfaces and all the other materials that you need, planning your trip and designing your own travel poster, setting out where would you like to go, collecting ideas and using your sketchbooks, taking photos, Composition and Artistic License, a reminder that this is a poster rather than a painting. We do cover some traditional artistic uh, techniques such as the rule of thirds, realism and stylization, using perspective creatively and creating impact with colour and which format to use. So all of these things, they all lead up to creating a really unique and beautiful poster. Choosing details, what to add and take away and bringing it all together. Getting started. So this is where we have all the basic information. So you don't need any prior knowledge to pick up your paintbrush and paints and start painting. Everything is in this section for you. I love the examples of the posters. So we have all the different features like skies and sunsets and clouds, water, the shoreline and foam, architecture, buildings, light and shadow, trees and foliage, mixing your greens, flowers. So there we have so much information to help you. We then have adding lettering. Enjoying the view is displaying your travel poster. So you've got advice here on mounting and framing your poster. Then we move on to these lovely projects. Now these are all in very detail, great detail. You've got so much information here. You've got the all the written instructions, lots of lovely pictures. You can see there are quite a few pages for each poster, so you're going to have such a helpful guide right the way through. So follow all those steps. You've got some additional tips and advice. We move on to the Sydney Opera House. So this book really does make it easy. Look at this, and you've got a variety of projects, so you've got different elements to add in, in the different projects, which is going to give you a lot of experience and a basis for you designing your own travel posters. When you finish this book, you're really going to be on your way. 
so so nice I'm really impressed with this book I'm so pleased I bought it and we have here you see what I mean you've got all your details painting the skies painting the sea and sand it's all in here to help you and then you will end up with your own beautiful poster And then we get to the end here and we have the onward travel, different ways of using your artwork, afterward lettering templates and the index. And here's where I have to mention, I've mentioned before with Search Press that when I pre-order a book, I'm now looking for a hurt book to add up so I get my free postage. Because like everyone, I'm having to be a bit more careful about how much money I spend. So this was a hurt book. It was on my list of books. But when it first came out, I wasn't able to pre-order it. You see, it has a bashed corner and a little bend on the cover here. But it's perfectly usable. You've seen as I've gone through, the inside is absolutely perfect. So whether you buy this as a hurt book or a perfectly brilliantly brand new copy it's a beautiful book and I really do think this is such an excellent guide for anyone if you're completely new to painting it doesn't matter you don't have any experience of acrylic painting what a wonderful way to learn to paint and to create a beautiful memory of your travels